that you'll need. Like the, and, well, you can read all the stuff. Sorry, I cut off that real quick. Uh, guys, real quick, let me just say, um, okay, actually, it started back up real quick. Before I get to this, um, my friend, Apple Dude 13 actually jailbroke the beta 4. If this is anything like beta 4, nothing works on Cydia that well. The main reason I really jailbroke it, oh, keeps reconnecting, I think, because I loosened the cable. Um, it's because I want multitasking, because I'm buying an iPhone 4, so I want to test this out. Uh, he also said that doesn't work very well, but it's worth a shot. So let's just see. Uh, unlock it. Cool. I've got the home screen wallpaper so far. Let's see if I double tap my home button. Let's see. There it goes. Multitasking. Let's try this out. See how this works, guys. Um, you can see Cydia's uh, white icon. Obviously, you're going to have to go through that whole process. I don't want to go through it right now. Yeah, you know what? Here. Uh, if you've already jailbroken, you can probably like, skip forward until you see me not doing this. Uh, oh, sorry. I just lost it there. Yeah, it's going to have to come down real quick. Uh, it's going to automatically close. All it's doing right now is basically setting up Cydia. And setting up Cydia is important. Right, guys? Uh, you guys can't hear me anyways. Except for the sound. So, just chill. I mean, hey. If you've already jailbroken while this is loading, go buy yourself a nice lemonade. Or buy an iPhone 4. Because by the time maybe some of you will see this, the iPhone 4 will already be out. Which it is, if it is, you'll know because if you're a subscriber, you'll probably see my, hopefully, unboxing of it. If not, my review for sure of it. And definitely tutorials with it. Ugh, this does take a while. In the meanwhile, let's try multitasking now. Then, see if this works. So I should be able to double tap the home button. And if I double tap it again. Yeah, city is there. That's cool. So let's just open up something else. Um, let me open up. Let's see. What can I open up? I can open up. Oh, okay. Uh, looks like. Hold on. City just finished. It looks like so. It looks like it wants to respring, uh, or reboot, or something. I don't know if you guys can see. There's a little loading icon somewhere about. Oh, now it's gone. Okay. Uh, city. Nope. Okay. Turns out, oh wait, hold on, City is doing something now. Uh, okay, um, depends what you are. Most, if not like 75 to 80 percent, probably of uh, people who jailbreak only need the top one, user graphical, uh, loading data. Yes, my iPod Touch is very quick because the iPod Touch 2Gs were the fastest device until the 3GS, 4, uh, iPod Touch 3rd generation 64 gig and stuff like that. Um, but really here, city is all loaded up, and it's just because I guess they overclocked the processor in this for gaming. Not overclocked, but didn't underclock it as much. Uh, if you don't know what that means, they slow down the iPhone for battery life, uh, so it's not as fast as it can be. They just didn't slow down the iPod Touch second generation as much as they could have, like they did on the iPhone 3G and stuff. Meaning it's good for gaming, uh, like Eliminate Pro and racing games and stuff. Good for stuff like this. Not good for battery life. Um, it's not like the iPhones are though. I apologize, by the way, guys, for such a long video. And if this gets too long, I guess this will be in two parts. But okay, um, upgrade essentials. No, not right now. Um, when you do it, guys, you'll see it. Let's say loading. You'll have all the stuff probably to update and stuff. Uh, but if you did enable it, now it's a good time to try multitasking out. Because now it should work. If I go like this. Yeah, City is there. Okay, that's very cool. I'll definitely probably make a video soon on theming for, uh, 4.0 since Winterboard I know doesn't work very well uh, with it. Let me see. There was one bug I noticed even in the GCM. Uh, is that on the iPod Touch. Let me see. Oops. Um. It's cool, it actually left the settings where it was. It didn't have wallpapers, like the default wallpapers thing, you know, here. Um, as like, wants to give me, right here when I go to wallpapers. And it still doesn't. Okay, so I don't have any raindrop ones or anything. Meaning I'm just going to go back to some of my cool pictures. Like the very cool Ultimate City Source logo. Um, I think that's a little arrogant. I'll just go with this really cool design that I found. I'm going to hit set. Oh cool, now I get the option to set for both, or set for home screen. 
Uh, I'm gonna set this for both. I'm sorry, my Mac is falling asleep right here. Um, let's see. Yep, now you can see I've got that cool design as my wallpaper. And I still have my multitasking enabled. I uh, said, so, wrong thing. Uh, so if you like this video, let me know in the comments below. For more videos like this, don't forget to uh, subscribe to me and Mr. Ages Tech. Also, um, follow us on Twitter as we often kind of tell before we make a video on what we're going to make a video on. So, again, sorry for such a long video. I know a lot of you probably like this, and a lot of you are going to ask, does this work on the older devices, such as these two, and a cracked screen? Uh, this doesn't support these devices yet. If it does, I'll make a video on it. Um, meanwhile, iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 2G. Sorry, 3GS owners and iPod Touch 3G owners. Um, that's it. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. See you guys.